Welcome to the video, my friends. I'm going to make some more highlights from my God of War playthrough straight from Twitch to YouTube for you guys that are interested in watching the playthrough. I know a lot of people don't want to watch for spoiler reasons, but as I'm playing it over on Twitch, I might as well put some highlights over on YouTube as I play through the whole thing myself. With that said, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you peeps next time. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. Armor and equipment improve stats like defense to help Kratos survive and strength to do more damage. Equip gear before heading out. Uh, L2 navigate to the weapon menu. Open Leviathan X. Oh, we've got new ends. Okay. So enough. Oh, treasure. Massive damage with fire builder. Okay, I think we just got to climb. Nothing else there. The hell? Well, that'll do it. I just bloody care. Fimble went up there, the raiders tornoed and barding in, and now stalkers playing in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Ah, things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Fimble winter wears down all things, even stone. Watching. Well, that's new. 
the door. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories... ...the secret stories... ...those they kept here... ...inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See... ...this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are. Chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hathi's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. The hell is that? That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines... I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned, but I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly... We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It, it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Can't be mad at the boy. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Good work. Could the prison be in Muswai? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding earth? Sounds like a mine eye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim. That's a good bet. Their minds did belch black smoke. And Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears and Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home. Very interesting. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tear, 
How do you have us get into Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. Ground looks kind of cracked there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, brutal. Ooh. Almost home. Brother, a word. Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, and smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfarm, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. You will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All oh, right. You won't be sorry. I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Until you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimba Winter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. Nice we place. I'm going to talk to you about actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then. Your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr. Alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son in disobeying me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is he anyway? That is my son. What in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Now well, come on then, let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey, I yeah, suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivanting. Begin with this. Mmm. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? There's a nice little place, isn't it? And some kind of void realm thing. I like it.
Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours. Sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your bean, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days. Betray us. Until... All right. See you out there, Sindri. You hear that? Hear yeah, what? What? Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far. Right? What the hell? How big they are. That one's pretty big, I think, in the middle there. Mm hmm. Best, best probably we stay away from those. We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I. Uh... Do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, shit, <laughs> you dodging bastard! Oh, God. <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh! That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release. Still unpleasant. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming. I'm coming. Russell just eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just oh, there. That should do it. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Get us. Throw me at him. Horns first. <laughs> Case you take a joke, you old goat. <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay. Good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. Oh, this is a bit different. Do you feel that? What's that like? Anything. Everything. It's warm. Go! You probably need to go. You can just get it free. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have caused that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. Oh, 
it is veggie. It's amazing looking. And we're on um graphics mode performance. I changed it back to performance a little while ago, but it doesn't look too much different either way. But you definitely feel the FPS difference. Definitely feel the drop in FPS. I wouldn't say it looks too much different. I think it's definitely sharper, maybe. Tiny, tiny bit more detailed, but not enough to warrant uh, FPS change, because that is uh, a big old dip in FPS. Oh, okay. That's what we do. I knew that. It to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfarm? I lad. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Oh. Oh, I stood on it. Brother, look. That strange bugger popped back out of the ground again. Nature has talked to it. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. Epic loot. That earthquake earlier. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely. The geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellir, brothers. Hmm. There's actually people here that aren't trying to kill us. Oh. They're uh, running away. I think they like us. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why is that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, can we talk we to you for any trouble, please? There'll be no help to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own and hope they let us in. Buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is what is this? Hmm, okay. I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk, then they'd have mouths, filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. 
What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things. Oh, in action. Ah. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Let's try! Okay, so, Derlin. Atreus, this way. Best of luck. You know what needs longer holes? We've got to clear out all these undead bastards. <laughs> <laughs> He'll try to block the red attack again. You want a piece of meat, motherfucker? You want a piece of meat? Nailed it first time. GG's. Brutal. Mm -mm. Good stuff. Jesus, that's a good drum, isn't it? What? So that's the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. Holy hell. Was we just on the back of that? Like some kind of whale thing. Hello? I need to free you somehow? You're pretty big. Probably shouldn't go near your mouth. I'm just saying. That is one sharp blade. Right, we chained the fins too. If you could. Uh. Easy, easy. This 
is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> really collect on something, pal? Think, uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get? You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. <laughs> Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hmm. All we got from that was a fine. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Oh, 
Come on. Did I get him? Okay. As I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell them, but it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, here. Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Ah! Got you. That one was tough. Yeah, a little bit. There could be others around. The Kraken Hatchling gave you a stone. Oh, uh, Deaner. 
Yeah, covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. Now where the hell are we? Uh... Well, we made quick work of him. Yeah, I imagine they're pretty stinky. I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff, and I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrine. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. There's a door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. Whoa. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. Good instructions do not say which one. Nope. We're on our own here. Your question from before. About my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time. There are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. 